The honeymoon is over, folks. Meddling monarch King Charles has signed up to climate alarmism by joining forces with the most divisive mayor in London's history, Sadiq Khan, to activate a bizarre climate countdown clock, which basically says the planet will have completely melted by next Tuesday. Now, my mind is open when it comes to global warming. I'm all for cutting emissions. And who doesn't want clean air, sustainable energy and an environment in good shape for future generations. Horrendous plastic waste bothers me in particular, which is why I loathed those worthless face masks that now reside in their billions at the bottom of the world's oceans. Yes, to be honest, I could be quite the green campaigner, and I've even proposed my own solution to rising temperatures, smart zero, an alternative to net zero, which places the economy and the will of the people at the heart of our environmental strategy. The current approach, led by a malnourished teenager from Sweden and based around hysteria, which has worrying echoes of the COVID overreaction, will see us castrate ourselves financially and bet the house on flaky renewables, which has played out very badly for Germany, who have bankrolled Putin's war machine with their reliance on Russian oil and gas. All whilst countries like the USA, Brazil, India and China burn fossil fuels for fun. So I'm happy for Britain to navigate towards a cleaner path. But our carbon footprint is currently smaller than Cinderella's slipper. And we're responsible for just 1% of global emissions, which isn't bad for the fifth biggest economy in the world. There's more to do, but sensibly and not in isolation. But sadly, that's not the messaging from cranky King Charles, who's been beating the net zero drum for years now and who promised that he would stay out of this divisive issue once he acceded to the throne. Well, he's been in the job for 10 minutes and he's already signed up to a political project which may or may not be valid, but which is just that, political. Policies born out of climate hysteria will affect the economy and will affect the livelihood and quality of life of the British people. That makes it political, which is why Charles should keep his rather long and wobbly nose out of it. I thought it was just Prince William who was going to preach the eco message as Prince of Wales on behalf of his father. But it seems old Charlie himself wants a piece of the action too. This political intervention by our new king is a grave error and one never made by his late great mother Elizabeth, who stayed out of politics for seven decades. Charles has been king for less than seven months and here we go. There is a worthy debate to be had about environmentalism and the planet. The human species is clearly destroying the beautiful world that we inherited and it's got to stop. But how and why and when should be debated by elected politicians, not crusty aristocrats who are lucky enough to be born inside the right womb. If our new king wants to stay on the throne, he's going to have to stay out of politics. The halo has slipped for King Charles, or should I say the crown? Charles may have started the climate countdown clock, but I've got no time for his antics.